uh, a manual shredder and uh, what we're using is to shred plastic uh, like this so it can be processed uh, further into products um, such as these tiles actually. The way it works, just quickly a breakdown, we have a, we have a, shred, we have a, a hand crank like this. It's a number 24 uh, head on it and it literally just uh, fits into this uh, socket over here that, um, and I'm gonna make sure it fits and then that's how it works. You'll see the blades, which are on two shafts, two geared shafts, um, rotating. And what they do is they suck the plastic in. So this is now without the plastic. So let's try this out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bunch of plastic in here. You can see some bottle tops, some, some plastic uh, milk bottles. As I crank, the, as I crank the plastic, you'll see I'm just adding all the bottle caps in here. Um, and these are all, and what we've done, we've taken labels off and everything, so, so they're just clean plastic right now, which is great. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put the container underneath it. Uh, uh, it's, it's not the perfect size, there's a lot of spillage, but you'll get the point, so we'll put this underneath. And then uh, what I'll do is uh, I'll put the top on and then I'll just start cranking it. And one thing you'll see is that you really want to be on a, on a flat surface. This is far, far from ideal. I'm having to put pressure on here because it takes a bit of uh, a torque. So, so if, this, if this is stationary or heavier, you'll be in a better position to do this. So kind of catching. Yeah, you can see that that's why we have a top that goes in there. I think there's one more bottle top and it's slowly getting pulled in. Perfect. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the bottom here and see what came out. Um, so we see, if we look over here, we'll see we have a bunch of uh, plastic over here. And you'll see that some pieces are actually a bit too big. Um, and, that's, and that's just, uh, you know, there's nothing we can do about it. The, the design of these, uh, of the double axle um, shredding, shredding blades means it sort of pulls it through. But once it's through, then um, it's not going to shred it any further. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to take, take this plastic and we're going to put it in one more time. Okay, and we're actually going to do it one more time. As you can see that already it's a lot smaller. So we're going to bring... And of course you can do this... Uh, you know, we might as well just do the whole thing actually. So we'll just sort of put it all... Some of them are quite nice because we'd actually done it earlier before this demonstration. So I'm actually going to leave these ones in for now. But if you do it as one, we're going to put the bucket underneath it. Make sure it's lined up nicely. And then we're going to run it one more time. I think it's basically done now, or not quite. Okay. And now if you look at it, what we have here is um, sizes that we can process properly. And that's it. As far as maintenance, it's actually a very simple machine. What you see is that we have a wooden hopper um, and a wooden um, uh, uh, exit sort of funnel. And then this is, uh, you know, this is stainless steel um, housing where the shredder blades are housed. Uh, what you'll see here is some Allen key locks and some bolts. And it's just a matter of opening up these Allen keys. It comes out and then you'll see, if you look at the top here, you'll see you, you can disassemble the whole shredder assembler, um, assembly.
Uh, there's, so in terms of if a blade breaks or whatever, it's just a matter of, of, of uh, it's designed for disassembly. So you'll take it apart and you can put it back together. Put a sieve on top of it with the right uh, hole diameter. It'd be very easy for you to shred and then whatever's caught in the sieve, you would pour back in here and continue doing it. And, that's where, and that way you can make sure that what you end up getting as your, as your flake size is what you're looking for.